welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I just wanted to say a happy anniversary to Marissa Link. I hope you had a wonderful day. Now, in today's video, I will be sharing a recipe for oxtail stew. And here I have the oxtails already seasoned. I'll show you guys how I did it in just a second. I have some bell pepper, some carrots. I'll be using onions, thyme, some butter bean. I have some brown braising sauce, but you can use um, browning if you like. I have green onions and cilantro. I'll be using some habanero peppers. If you have scotch bonnet, you can use that. I have garlic and ginger. And for the seasonings, I'll be using some all-purpose seasoning, complete seasoning, mushroom seasoning, and some black pepper. Now let's jump right into it. So here is how I prepped and seasoned my oxtails. First, I washed in lemon juice, and I didn't have to trim any fat because it came you know pretty much trimmed and everything and i love that here i have some brown braising sauce but you can use brown in if you like i have some ketchup for the seasonings i have mushroom seasoning oxtail seasoning paprika black pepper bouillon complete seasoning and seasoned salt here i have my aromatics garlic onions ginger peppers and I'll be using some pimento berries. I have my fresh herbs, thyme, basil, parsley, and green onions. Basically, we'll be making some fresh green seasoning to season the oxtails. I get a lot of questions about what is green seasoning. Well, today we're making it fresh, so this is how I make my green seasoning. Any kind of herbs that you like can be added to this or any kind of aromatics you can add and you just blend it and it's like fresh seasoning you use to season your meat you can also add salt but i'm not going to do that today because you know i have all the other powdered seasonings that will work in place of the salt you know we will add oil to help with the blending process and we will blend it to whatever consistency you like i like mine right in the middle not too smooth or not too chunky you know just right in the middle when you're done it should be looking like this now we will you know proceed to seasoning our oxtails next we'll combine all of our dry seasonings this will allow it to be evenly distributed onto the oxtails then we will add our green seasoning brown braisin sauce and ketchup we'll mix well and we will place this in the fridge overnight you'll get the best results if you allow it to sit overnight but if you don't have the time you can let it sit for a few hours or the way this is seasoned it can be cooked right away trust me it will still taste good this is well seasoned so you know it can be cooked right away but i advise to let it sit overnight then I will be back tomorrow to show you guys how I'll cook the oxtail. So fast forward to the next day, here I have my preheated pot and I did add about one tablespoon of oil. Now we will sear the oxtails on all sides. This helps to lock the flavors in so that when you add your liquid, it doesn't wash it away. And we'll make sure these are nicely seared and then I'll show you guys the next step. Once the oxtails are done searing, we'll now add, you know, half of our onions and we'll add our garlic and ginger. We will let them go for about two minutes just to release the flavors and aromatics. Next, we'll add that brown braising sauce. Now, please be reminded that if you are using brown-in, you don't have to use as much because brown-in have a more intense color 
and you don't want your oxtails to be too dark. Then we will add that leftover seasoning that was left from, you know, when we seasoned the oxtails. You want to add every bit of that in here, you know, because that is amazing flavor. And then we'll add some hot water. We'll also add the thyme and we'll allow this to come up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, we'll reduce the heat to low, set our lid on and let this cook for about 2 hours, checking it every 30 minutes. After about 2 hours, this is how the oxtails are looking. Now I did went in like an hour after and added some more liquid because a lot of the liquid had evaporated and it needed more liquid to boil. Now we will check for doneness. Now you want your oxtail soft, but you don't want it so soft to where it's mushy and mashed up in the pot. So this is the doneness we are looking for. Your oxtails should be looking like this. Perfect. Now we will move on to the next step. We'll add the other half of our onions. We'll add our bell peppers and carrots and also add our butter bean here. Next, we'll add some more brown sauce and I felt like this needed a bit more color to it. So I'm adding a bit more of that brown sauce and you know, you can add sauce to your own liking, however you like it, dark or light, whatever you add color to your own liking. We'll also add our seasonings here and you want to season to your own liking. Even if there's measurements, you want to taste your food as you go and season to how you like it sometimes my seasoning it might not be enough salt for you and you want to add more just go ahead and do that sometimes it might be too salty for you and you want to add less just go ahead and do just that we'll add our habanero peppers we'll cover this and allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes So here I have some potato starch. This is my new go-to, like whenever I want to add thickness to my sauce or gravy or anything, I would add some potato starch. It's just like cornstarch. You can also use cornstarch if you like. So after about 10 minutes, we will now add our potato starch here. You want to mix your potato starch into a slurry first with a little bit of water and then you add it into the sauce because you know for me I like my sauce nice and thick I like my gravy nice and thick so you know I'm adding the potato starch but if you want to add corn starch you can add that as well it's like the same exact thing you know and it thickens right away look at that the sauce is now nice and thick what we'll do is garnish with some fresh green onions and that's it. That's how I make my delicious oxtail stew. Now I will plate everything up and show you guys the finished product. So I did plate my oxtails up with some fried rice plantain, rice and pigeon peas or Jamaicans call it gongo peas and a fresh garden salad. I will leave the link to the rice and peas down in my description box. You might not get it right away but I will eventually be adding the recipe for that. 
and I really enjoyed this meal. It was super delicious and I hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy!